Wagwan people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We said goodbye to autumn and hello to winter and the UK is in a novel lockdown. I am over it. If you want to see what fragrance is, I'll be wearing to the supermarkets and on my daily walks. Please continue to watch. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Coco and on this channel I mostly speak about perfumes because that's my passion. I love perfumes. If you're a perfume lover like myself, go ahead, click that subscribe button, join the family. Thank you very much. Obviously the non-essential shops are closed. I'm really sad about Primark because I love me some Primark. Oh my God, I love Primark. And we're only allowed to leave our houses like once a day. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> So now I'm gonna have to wear my fragrances to the supermarkets. I'm gonna be smelling damn good to get some bread, eggs and milk, okay? Cause where else am I gonna wear my fragrances? I can't go out. So, you know, the supermarkets and at work, I'm still working as well. So work is gonna get these banging fragrances. The supermarkets, when I go on my walks, people are gonna tell me I smell good, okay? <laughs> That's enough of the jibber jabber. You guys know I don't do the long talking. Let's get into these fragrances. Do -do 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 -do. Here we go. But what do -do 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 -do. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Let's start things off with a fragrance that has not been on my channel. This is Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One Intense. This came out last year and it's known as a oriental floral fragrance for women, or as I call it, a floriental. The opening is fresh, very fresh, with crisp green apple and some citrus. And the middle is sweet orange blossoms. It has jasmine and has coconut. Let me tell you about the coconut in this. The coconut in this does not give me suntan lotion vibes. It gives me creamy creme brulee vibes. You know, like sexy and sultry. Yeah, that's what the coconut is giving me. The dry down is just more creaminess and sweetness from the vanilla, along with like soft woodsy notes. This fragrance makes me think about the most luxurious day ever like you're wearing a sexy black dress you have a YSL handbag gold stud earrings Cartier bracelets listen the whole nine yards like a slick back ponytail hello yes it's rich it's creamy it's elegant it's sweet it's seductive it's sexy I absolutely love this this has a great staying power and even though sillage and projection is you know slightly above moderate you're still gonna have people telling you how amazing you smell because this is just a beautiful scent this is the only one intense by dolce and gabbana Next up we have Toy Boy by Moschino. This was launched in 2019 and it's known as a woody spicy fragrance for men. Am I a man? No. Am I gonna wear this? Yes, try and stop me. Most people don't like this fragrance because of the packaging. They judge the fragrance by the packaging. They see it and go, oh my God, the fragrance is gonna be tacky because the packaging looks tacky. This is not tacky. This is different and very complex. I mean, look at the packaging. Isn't this cute? This is a teddy bear. How can you say this is tacky? I absolutely love this. This is so cute. The dominant notes in this fragrance for me are the pink pepper and the rose. This opens very fresh, very fresh. See that sprayer? Ooh, yes. This opens very fresh with the bergamot and the pear. But the thing is, the bergamot for me, it's not giving me the citrus side. It's giving me the fresh side. So it's very fresh. Then you have the spicy pink pepper and the rose starting to take over this fragrance. The rose in this is not your typical grandma old lady smelling rose. It's like a modern and unique take on an earthy green rose which I find absolutely intriguing. For the base, it goes warm and creamy with the amber and the cashmere and the vetiver just adding that extra greenness. This fragrance is extremely spicy. So if you're not used to spicy fragrances, I wouldn't tell you to go for this one. I mean, it's really different from the sweet gourmand fragrances that I normally go for. But I mean, not everyday gourmand fragrances, you get me? Sometimes step out of your comfort zone, smell something else, do you know what I mean? This is just a earthy, well-spiced, rose dominant fragrance that is of niche quality. Yes, niche quality. This is Toy Boy by Moschino. Next up, we have Club de Nuit Intense Woman by Armaf. This is known as a she-prop floral fragrance. The notes that stand out for me, if I could get it open, the notes that stand out for me are the rose, the saffron, the oud, and the patchouli. That combo is just so intoxicating. It's sexy and it's provocative. 
This opens with a rich, jammy, spiced rose, but the dry down is to die for. The dry down is smoky, it's sexy, it's chocolatey, it's earthy, and you get a bit of sweetness and creaminess from the vanilla. Mm. This is the fragrance you wear when you're gonna do the dirty. Do you know what I mean? Yes, this is a fragrance that will bring out the freak in you. You know when you're gonna get some? Put this on, yeah? This is a fragrance you have to dress up as well. You can't wear a t-shirt and a jeans and put this on. No, you have to dress this up. Like I already did a review on this, I'll leave it up in the cards for you to watch. It's also said to be a Jeep for Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. This is just a deep, dark rose fragrance that's absolutely stunning. Love this. This is Club de Nuit Intense Woman by Armaf. Next up we have Baccarat Rouge 540, the extract version. This was launched in 2017 and it's known as a unisex fragrance. I'm not gonna lie, this and the original I find so hard to describe and I don't know why, but it was a nuttiness in this for me. This opens nutty. Oh, I just spent about 25 pounds spraying that. This, op <laughs> this opens nutty and creamy from the bitter almond and there's saffron in the top as well. What I like about the saffron is that it's there, you can smell it, but it's not overpowering and it's not overtaking this fragrance. Then it moves down into a sweet jasmine with woody undertones. And as all of that begins to dry down, it starts to get warm and cozy. I get a bit of mint from here as well. Say you're chewing a mint gum, yeah? Yeah, like a winter fresh or any minty gum I like say you've been chewing it for like 10 15 minutes you know that little minty taste that it still has even though you've literally chewed out all the mintiness I hope I'm making sense like you've been chewing it for a while you can still taste the mintiness but it's toned down I can get a bit of that mintiness from here does that make sense I even get hints of like duty free in this as well. When I say duty free, you know in the airport, you know the luxurious side of duty free, you know that rich aroma, that like when you pass there you can say, oh, mm-hmm, rich, like rich people alone go here. Yes, I I'm getting that in there as well. If you know what the original Baccarat Rouge smells like, this is the grown up version, you know? This is the sweeter, the more richer, the denser, the deeper version of Baccarat Rouge. That is just absolutely amazing. This is just a sumptuous and luxurious smell. It smells like money, I kid you not. It just smells like wealth. This is Baccarat Rouge 540, the extract version. Next up, we have a fragrance that I manifested in my life. We have Jazz Club by Maison Martin Margiela. This fragrance is a whole vibe. This came out in 2013 and it's known as a leather fragrance for men. Once again, am I a man? No. Am I gonna wear this? Yes, try and stop me. <laughs> This has a fresh and spicy top, a boozy and earthy middle, and a dry but sweet and creamy resinous tobacco base. Every time I smell this, it just reminds me of Tom Hardy from Legends, Ron Cray. Mm, Tom, oh, Tom Hardy could get it. Oh my God. I can just imagine this on him. Him wearing a suit, wearing this. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> This is a very deep, sensual, woody, boozy tobacco fragrance. This is just everything. As I said earlier, this is a whole vibe, a whole entire vibe. You know what I get from Jazz Club? Let me tell you, come with me. I don't smoke, but we're gonna build our own cigar today. You know the filling for the cigar, yeah, the tobacco? We're gonna mix that with vanilla seeds and we're gonna set that aside. Now, for the leaf to roll up everything, we're gonna be soaking that in rum and put that out to dry. After that's all dried and that, we're gonna put everything together. Let's roll our cigar, yeah? We're gonna take the tobacco mixed with the vanilla and we're gonna put that in the rum soaked leaf. You see, when you're rolling that up, before you light it, we're gonna get a ton of a 15 year old Dalmo scotch and we're gonna have that on the rocks you see when you like that you know what vibes I'm getting from that boss vibes b-o-s-s -S vibes oh my god guys this is jazz club by Mason Martin Margiela I'm calm Next up, we have La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is a juicy one. This came out in 2019. There's said to be talk that there's more than three notes, but my nan always told me to stick to the eve with that I know. And I know that this has three notes, pear, vetiver, and vanilla. So I'm sticking with that, yeah? Yeah. The breakdown of this fragrance, 
juicy crisp pear, creamy vanilla, and the vetiver is there to add dimension that balances out this fragrance so it doesn't get cloying or sickly sweet. Yeah. I have said once before that this fragrance smells like the dessert that you've been yearning for after being on a diet for a day. Do you know them ones? Yeah. <laughs> This is just a fresh fruity gourmand fragrance that's warm and cozy in the dry down. It's a little fun, a little flirty, but it's still seductive and sexy. Like this is just a beautiful fragrance in a beautiful bowl. Like, yes. This is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Halfetti is just a complex fragrance. Like it's a fresh rose scent with a spicy, leathery, woody dry down. Like this is a head turner. This is a fragrance for people with personality. You can't be boring and wear this, no. This is a super unique fragrance that will have you feeling confident AF, okay? This is a fragrance that's gonna stand out amongst other fragrances. Like, you know that rose, oud and saffron combo? If you're into that, then you'd absolutely love this. I did a full review on this already. I'll leave it up in the cards there for you to watch. But this is just a very complex and unique and amazing scent. This is Halfetti by Penhaligans. And lastly, we have Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. This is a oriental fragrance, but to me, it's leading more gourmand. This has a leading orange blossom. There's sugar, there's vanilla, there's caramel. This is sweet, but it's not childish sweet. This is a grown-up sweet, you know, a mature and sexy kind of sweet. There's nothing shy about this love. This is bold. This is a fragrance that will grab people's attention, yeah? Once again, I already have a full review on this fragrance. I'll leave it up there in the cards for you to watch. But this is just a yummy, marshmallowy, sweet type of fragrance. This is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And there you have it, my loves. These are the fragrances that I'll be wearing this lockdown winter. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, but before you go, don't forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Comment down below and let me know if you own any of these fragrances, what you think of them, and tell me two fragrances that you will be wearing this winter. Share this video with a mate. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Next up we have, whoa. Club Dinner Be Intense Woman. Yeah, that's the name of it now. Club Dinner. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, it is Club Dinner Intense Woman. Am I gonna spray this? Whew. Money. This. <laughs> for the tobacco, that has been. Filler for the tobacco. The tobacco is the filler. I'm such an idiot. And lastly, we have Love Don't.